Hey guys, Austin here, Clover Patch Farm. I'm pruning tomatoes already, and um, I shot a video midweek last week, and these things have already grown so much that I'm back in here pruning them today and trying to get some of these mulched with some grass clippings. I figured I'd shoot a quick video and show you how we do the hard pruning in this tunnel. Um, it's how we're able to get so many tomatoes in here. Um, you basically take all the leaves off off of the tomato plant all the way up to the first fruit cluster and this one doesn't I didn't go quite up to it because it's a smaller plant but we're gonna do a few here and I'll show you um, I got a bunch of grass clippings in here I'm gonna try to spread I have a few weeds coming up but not too bad so yeah we'll look at this one right here um, first of all I just twist the plant up the string and then when we look at this plant, tomato plant will always grow one main stem and then it's going to grow a leader branch, this one, and then it's going to grow a sucker, this one. The suckers are what we're aiming to take out. Um, if you don't take them out, you're basically going to have um, the tomatoes going to run all over the place. You're going to have a whole bunch of main trunks coming off of here, which might be fine if you were growing outside um, and you just wanted, you weren't doing this many but when we're in here we need them to be um, we kind of need all the plants to have a small amount of foliage so we can keep that airflow good <clears throat> if you don't have the airflow good inside a structure like this you get all kind of diseases and and you really can't see when you have pests coming in such as um, tomato horn hornworm is really a big deal you kind of have to if you can't get in here every day and see what's going on they'll just devastate you so um, Again, looking at this plant here, I'm trying to crush the bloom. Um, we're going to take out all these suckers. So every sucker we see just goes away. Um, and then all the way down. And then at this plant, I'm going to take, we really only have a fruit cluster all the way up top. Um, so I'm going to leave these two scaffold branches down from it just because. I want this plant to get enough nutrients in it to get catch up with the other ones. So um, we're going to leave that. But yeah, you, I just go ahead and take all these off. Kind of leave a stub on that one because it's where the clip's hanging on. But um, yeah, so simple as that. I've kind of buggered up this plume cluster, which I don't want to do. Um, yeah. Simple as that, so yeah, we'll do a couple more here. Um, this one's got a bunch of bloom clusters, so we're gonna go right up to that that one. We're gonna take everything off below it. So it's real nice. A lot of people get out trimmers and think they need to trim them. You don't. Um, these suckers, if you see the sucker, they really tear off nicely if you pull down on them. These scaffold branches tear nice if you pull up. So. I usually just come through here and go down, up, down, up, down, up, and it's done. So um, there's a lot to do, so you really don't want to be spending a whole lot of time per plant. Um, it's kind of like that. You just keep on moving. Yeah, see, we can just, even these bigger ones, you can be a little bit rough on them. You always want to do this on a good sunny day. Um, these wounds will heal up a lot quicker on a sunny day. The plant's thriving and it'll kind of figure that out real quick. So see that? It's just as easy as that. I'll do one more and we'll call it good. Yeah, that's a you really want to stay on time when you're doing this job because if you get if you get these big dogs, it's kind of a problem. It's got some big scaffold branches. I think these are black cherry in this row. It's an heirloom cherry variety and they're just a great vigorous plant. Um, just a fantastic tasting tomato. One of my favorites, probably the best tasting heirloom cherry tomato, I think. Um, 
course, different people like different things, but that one's a little big. It's important to stay on top of it because if you don't, then you do have to get out a pruner if they get too darn big. But there you go, guys. Figured I'd show you that. And now I got a few more to do. Give you a shot of the greenhouse right now to end it. But yeah, I think these are on their way to a good season. So should have tomatoes here in this month, maybe first part of June, actually. Hopefully, we'll see. Thanks for watching.